What was this preseason supposed to be? What were we supposed to get from this? Now, if you're talking about for the fans, I get that allegedly this is going to make players more healthy in the regular season and to start the season. And if you look at it injury-wise, Sanders, who I don't know if there's anything you could do to keep him healthy, and Kelsey's elbow was the only thing, knocking on wood. Nobody tore any ACLs in the games, and all that stuff is true. But as a fan, what did we learn from this preseason? What did we learn? They only did three joint practices. They did the one open practice. You learned nothing from those. There used to be a nice build to the NFL season via training camp where it starts off a certain way, and then we get the games. It used to be Lehigh, so you see the practices, and then you see the games. And little by little, we raise our enthusiasm to get to the NFL regular season, and we're excited. And we'll be excited when the Eagles play the Lions. Fine, we'll be excited. But as of right now, as of right now, what have the Eagles given us this preseason to be excited about? We saw Jalen Hurts for one drive. Now, he was great in that one drive. We saw one drive. A lot of players can get lucky and be great on one drive. We learned nothing. We're completely reliant on the reporters, and we love the reporters, and we'll have people on to talk about it. But as far as the fan, what the heck did any fan in this city get from this entire preseason? And I don't know if they should call that a football game on Saturday. That was not a football game. How many tackles is Davion Taylor going to miss? And then you tell me he's going to make the team. So if the player's stinking, doesn't even matter. Jalen Rager made zero plays this whole preseason. He's still going to make the team? It was all useless, and I can tell you right now that I'm tired of it. Hunter, well, what, what's going on? I, I'm pissed off, too, just thinking about it. You know, I'm watching the Phillies. I'm watching the Union over an Eagles game. Let that sink in. Six and, nothing. And, and that's no Six disrespect nothing. to those teams, but I'm just saying, we know how much we love Eagles football in this town. A preseason game, you think, when it comes to the pecking order, it would be above those, no matter how juiced up I am for a Phillies postseason run, which we're going to get. So, you know, it got to the point where I was actually wondering, would it be better for the NFL if the quarterback in preseason wore a red jersey and you weren't allowed to hit but would we get more of your starters out there where I'm just trying to find ways to actually make it manageable for us to actually pay attention and I don't know maybe it goes back to are you getting anything out of that if you can't hit the quarterback maybe not so I don't know maybe that's a dumb idea I'm trying to throw things at the wall to see what sticks and I guess I'll I'll say this about where they're at the NFL has its own mind, and they do things that we feel mm -hmm. is, is stupid the way they handle business, but I have to imagine that they feel our frustration. Like, I, I don't think they don't hear us. I don't think they don't feel us right now where maybe there is change incoming because of what we're kind of opening the show with now. It should not be this way. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I mean, bottom line is, how are you supposed to get better if you're not on the field playing in a real game, real time, real speed? And we're talking, let's face it, we're all talking about a quarterback here and his timing with his players. Yes, he played what? That one series, had a nice series, made some nice reads. But, but you're going into Miami, they're playing their starters against you. So it's not the whole NFL. I think we are looking at the, we're looking at a picture that's very small. It is the Eagles that are doing this. Obviously, you go into Miami, you get whitewashed because they're throwing in their starters. They're getting their timing down. Now, here's where it comes in. You, I, I want you to think about this for a second. There is a good chance that, you know, you go into that first game, you get hit that first time. You're, you're going to know you got hit. If, if you had a couple weeks of, of getting popped here and there every once in a while in, in some exhibition games, doesn't that make it a little better? Because I got to tell you, if I'm a player, I'm getting put, paid to play this sport, I want to go pop somebody. That's not on my own team. I want to see a different color jersey, and I want to drill them into the ground, maybe through the ground at times. And how do you do that when, when, when you're in camp? You don't. You just don't. Yeah. I, 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 I think, number one, if you're going to do this, just bag all your preseason games. Why even bother? Because you're not giving your own fans a chance to look at this team and make their own judgments. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's the issue to me.